Hey guys, Jenny PRD, registered dietitian and nutrition expert. Thanks so much for checking in. This video is all about calcium and vitamin D needs in children ages four to eight. Before I get into that, I wanna encourage you to please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you are first to know anytime I upload a new video. I also want to give a quick shout out to my Fat to Fit weight loss group on Facebook and encourage you to say hi and just let me know of any nutrition videos you want to learn about. So children ages 4 to 8 need 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day. If that sounds like a lot, it's because it is and it can be really tricky to get to that number unless you're really careful as parents making sure your children get enough calcium rich foods. So calcium is really important for muscle contraction and overall health. However, it is really critical for bone health. I remember learning in college that we build our bone bank until we are 30. Exercise like weightlifting as well as resistance training is also beneficial to combat that bone loss. But children ages 4 to 8, you know, we want them to be active in the sense of running around and playing. No need for them to be doing, you know, push-ups and resistance training and things like that. But also it's really important for them to make sure they get enough food in their diets that are good sources of calcium. So you may be thinking what foods are. You might think dairy, which you're absolutely spot on. So dairy foods such as milk, cheese, and yogurt are great sources of calcium. There's other foods like fortified foods such as graham crackers, orange juice, and dried cereal that have calcium. You just have to check the food label to see how much calcium is in it. And then there's leafy greens like broccoli, Chinese cabbage, and um, kale. So calcium, we can only digest or absorb 500 milligrams at a time. So you wanna make sure you space it out throughout the day. So I just wanna give you an example. In one glass of cow's milk, so that's eight ounces, if you were to turn the food label around, it says 30% calcium. So that just translates into 300 milligrams of calcium. So if your child ages four to eight drinks three eight ounce glasses or 24 ounces of milk per day, they get 900 milligrams of calcium and still need 100 milligrams to get to that thousand milligrams per day. So it really can be tricky, especially if you have picky eaters. I do have a toddler nutrition series on picky eating with different tips and tricks you can see down below in the description of this video. But again, as you can see, it's really important to make sure you are offering your child calcium rich foods to get to that level. I wanted to touch on vitamin D. So children ages four to eight, both boys and girls, need 600 IUs or international units of vitamin D. Vitamin D is great for immune health, but it also helps our bodies absorb that calcium. That's why milk is fortified with vitamin D because milk naturally has calcium. So it's fortified with vitamin D in order to allow our bodies to absorb it. So calcium and vitamin D go together. Vitamin D is really hard sometimes to get from our diet. It's in egg yolks, it's in salmon, mackerel, and tuna, and also in cod liver oil that you would take off of a spoon but primarily it comes from the sunlight and that leads us to the worry of sunburn and skin cancer and things like that. So sunlight is definitely beneficial, but up to a certain amount of time. And what happens when the sun hits our skin, it converts the inactive form in our bodies of vitamin D to the active form. So awesome. However, things like fog and smog and even just skin tone, the darker your skin, the harder it is for your body to turn that vitamin D into the active form with sunlight. So if you worry you might not get enough vitamin D or your child doesn't get enough vitamin D, definitely talk with your doctor and see if they'd be a candidate to get their blood levels checked. 
And if you're not sure if your child gets enough calcium and vitamin D in their diet, make sure you check with their pediatrician to see if a calcium and vitamin D supplement is something that would be beneficial for them. I wanted to touch quickly on rice milk, almond milk, and soy milks. Those are all fortified with calcium and vitamin D. So if your children do not drink cow's milk, they should be covered. It's again, it's just how much they drink a day to make sure they're reaching the right amount. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.